Hi there, my name is Jesse Haapala, a car service entrepreneur from Kokkola, Finland. And I'm pretty sure you're here because you heard that I'm going to do something interesting with my Tesla. So stay tuned. Welcome to follow my first part of the project. So what is my project about? I'm gonna make somehow my G-Class Mercedes and uh, more or less Tesla. So obviously it's gonna look something like this. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I'll stick to the outside of the G-Class. I kind of like the looks of it. So what I'm gonna do then? Well, here is a 10 second recap of this video. During the next uh, 15 minutes, I'm going to show you the uh, first part of my project when I'm trying to take all the electronics from a Tesla Model S and putting it to my G-Wagon. So I'm making an electric uh, G-Class. Spoiler alert, I'm not going to drive an electric G-Class in this video. But uh, I am going to take apart uh, the Tesla. I'm going to short out a lot of wiring. I'm gonna then eventually I will take out the engine, the battery, all the electronics and place them on a, on a table and assemble it back together. So it was quite interesting until this part, part already. And maybe we can get even uh, get to rotate the motor. How did this all start? I had a call from my friend that uh, there is a dude that is going to explode his Tesla. And of course I was like one big question mark, like what the hell, like why would somebody blow up the Tesla? And figured out that uh, it had some problem and local Tesla service did refuse to uh, take it in. So I got it, I called the guy immediately, and we made a deal that uh, I can take whatever I want from the car, as long as it looks uh, solid. Uh, when when I return it back, so I I was uh, I I got a promise that I can take whatever and then just put it back back together so it looks good from the inside and outside. So I uh, took it to my shop. I have a car service in Kokkola, called Kokkola Auto Holder, and uh, first thing I investigated it quite a lot and uh, found out the problem that it had, and I actually fixed it. It started to work, the car, and uh, once, I, once I got it moving, I started, I wanted to get rid of the, all the excessive electronics that there is, meaning body electronics like uh, windows, uh, seat uh, electronics, uh, tailgate, you, you name it, there is a lot in Tesla. And uh, I wanted to figure out what is the minimal wiring that it would run with the original Tesla electronics. Now somebody is shouting at their desk like, why the f would this guy use the Tesla electronics? And there is a lot of really, really good aftermarket components to run it. I could get an aftermarket controller for the motor, aftermarket BMS for the battery, chargers, whatever. Everything is available and they probably would work perfectly. But I have everything. I have the... BMS. I have the control for the motor and I got everything to work, so of course I'm going to use them. And second of all, or first of all, now I'm investigating the Tesla electronics and I'm learning from them. I have a car service that I will probably, and I know, I will have customers having their Teslas here and I will need to figure out all kinds of problems and I'm pretty sure I know quite a lot more after this project. I took everything out. I I tried to cut uh, like these bigger uh, co connectors. I tried to took one connector at a time, but 
basically whatever bigger connector you took out, the car stopped. Everything stopped. Mm. Nothing worked. So I had to go like a component by component, wire by wire, and cut it out. So it was quite a lot of work. And I did that only in the evenings and night time. So it took me like two months uh, to figure it out, and uh, or even three months. And uh, after that, I got I got it uh, figured out. I I have the all the electronic kit needs. Okay, I kept the ABS, I kept the lights uh, because I'm gonna use them. And I kept the like wipers, uh, I kept the heating and air conditioning. So I could actually get quite a lot more if I would just like to get the drivetrain. But my car needs a heater, it needs a wipers. So I I'm gonna use the Tesla ones because I'm gonna use all the levers and the displays. So of course. Miksi se ei kulkis? Pretty soon after this test drive, I got a message from the owner of the car that uh, they are really looking for a place to explode the chassis. And uh, I got a bit nervous because I was still in the middle of uh, taking part the uh, excessive electronics, but now it was time for the final disassembly. There was no going back from this point. Here's the last time this car was ever going to be driven. It was kind of a sad moment even, because I've spent like two, even three months, evenings, night with this one, so uh, it was kind of a sad feeling to drive it the last time. But yeah, I, now it was time to take it apart. Uh, we were supposed to take the battery, take the drivetrain, and then all the electronics that I've already cleaned pretty good. So taking off the battery, it is a really straightforward job. I have to give a lot of credit to Tesla engineers about how it's mounted. And uh, most of them all, how the, all the connectors do the battery. Uh, when you take all the bolts out and you lift the car away from the battery, you don't really have to take any cabling or any coolant lines out. Uh, yeah, there is a one uh, ground point, but that's it. All the diagnostic connectors and high voltage connectors and the coolant lines, they come uh, loose by themselves. So that is really nice design on that. And uh, even though now the video is played in fast forward, it took, the video took 19 minutes totally. And it, it was the absolutely first time taking off a battery from Tesla Model S. So of course I had to look a little bit like what I'm doing. So I reckon it's a 15 minute job. Just to make sure all the connectors will come loose and lift the car up. And there it is. 90 kilowatt hours of power. The battery, it's huge. It is as big as you can fit under this car, and the car is not small. It has the battery has a little holes for the tires, so that gives you an idea, like how big is the battery. So let's move this this big boy, and then start disassembling the drivetrain. You have to be pretty careful when moving this because it is heavy. It's like five, six hundred kilograms. Taking off the drivetrain, uh, you you just take out the whole subframe with the drive shaft with everything. So it is really a straightforward job. Also, a little bit of uh, mechanical love was needed to for the high voltage cables. They were actually a little bit corroded, 
to the motor, but we got them out in one piece. After this is this whole subframe is on the floor, we just took the motor out and put the sub subframe back to the car. So there they are, the main components. I put a piece of plywood on top of the battery and I will start assembling all the electronics from the car onto the uh, table. So here's a couple of the components, the internal chargers, the MCU, all the cablings, then the coolant lines, pumps, valves. After that, the car is empty, totally empty. It was time to assemble it again. I put all the panels in, I put the seats, I put the carpets, all the plastics to the interior, the dash, the seats, everything. I even made a plastic MCU and instrument cluster. It came out really good. Even if you sat on the driver's seat, you could not uh, tell the difference. Also from the outside, everything back in place. And then it was time to say goodbye to the chassis. This is the last time the, these two are seen together. All the electronics, the MCU, internal chargers, motor, high voltage cables, battery, you name it, there is everything. And then the chassis looking sharp as ever. So it was now back to, to Bompsu, the owner of the car. And uh, they had a huge plan with uh, Pommiatket, this uh, Finnish crew that uh, does a lot of stuff with the different kind of explosives. And I, I'm pretty sure you know that famous video of exploding Tesla. And yes, this is the, exactly the car. So, nothing left of that Tesla, except all this, of course. Luckily, we got that uh, saved from, from that plan. Thank you for watching. That was my part one of the project videos. Please, uh, please subscribe. Uh, I will have my next video out hopefully soon. That video will be about uh, doing some more wire work on, on this table as it is, trying to clean everything and uh, trying to make a little bit separate looms for the components so I can move them around a little bit better in my project car. Uh, after that's done, I'm gonna look into the CAN bus of the Tesla. I would need to figure out a couple of CAN messages. First is the electrical parking brake. I would like to take out the parking brake, uh, but for that I need to find the CAN messages because without the CAN message that the parking brake is on, it's not gonna shut down. It will stay alive, this car. So I would need to find those messages and then uh, the other one is uh, central locking. I would like to find the lock and unlock uh, commands uh, so I could get the central locking to work. So after that is done, uh, I will next part will be opening this battery and that is something that I am looking forward to. It is going to be really interesting and maybe that will be in the second video also. Hey, I almost forgot. I kind of promised that we will see a rotating motor in this video. So let's see if we can get it to rotate. So, here's everything important. We can see here's the brake lever. There's the accelerator. We can see that it's now in park. If we press brake, you can see the lights come up. If we go to the lever and put it to gear, we could hear the parking brake uh, to retrieve. Then take the accelerator. So there you go, it is alive. 
see you in the next video